Do you want to save money on your mortgage? Well, that's what we're talking about today. Let's, Let's get, get down, down to business. business. Hello, everyone. Thanks for checking out this video about how to save money on a mortgage. My name is Ashley Journey, and I'm a realtor with Town Realty in Charlottesville, Virginia. And I'm also here with the lovely Katie Shires. Hi, I'm Katie Shires. I work for Residential Mortgage Services. I have been working in the mortgage industry for the past 10 years, and I'm excited to help you find some ways to save money on your mortgage. The first tip is that because mortgage interest rates are at an all-time low, lower interest rates means that you can spend less money on your mortgage payment or afford to buy a more expensive home. Currently, a first-time home buyer with only 3% down could get a rate of 2.375 versus last year around this time, rates were around 4.5%. So for example, if you were to purchase a $300,000 home with 3% down and get a 2.375% interest rate, you would have a monthly principal and interest payment around $1,130. If you add on average real estate taxes, homeowners insurance, and mortgage insurance, your monthly mortgage payment would be close to $1,510. If you were to buy that same home last year around this time and your rate was 4.5%, your monthly principal and interest alone would have been around $1,475. So, when you added real estate taxes, homeowners insurance, and mortgage insurance on top of that, your monthly payment would have been around $1,825. In today's market, with an interest rate of 2.375, you could spend $360,000 with a monthly payment budget of $1,825. Tip number two is to refinance. If you're a current homeowner, there's a good chance that you could save a decent amount of money by refinancing while rates are historically low. While refinance rates are not as low as purchase rates, this is due to GSE's increasing pricing on refinances due to the increased risk on the marketplace. They're still historically low. And it does not hurt you to reach out to see how much you could be saving by refinancing. Number three is to get rid of your PMI, also known as private mortgage insurance. There are a lot of ways that you can get rid of your PMI before the projected date based on your amortization schedule. If you have made any home upgrades or if you purchased a home in an up and coming neighborhood, you may have naturally gained some equity in your home. Usually removing your PMI early requires just an appraisal. However, depending on your current interest rate from when you purchased, you might be able to get a double whammy by refinancing and removing PMI at the same time. So tip number four is to shop around for your homeowner's insurance. A lot of people just go with their current car insurance company to obtain their homeowner's insurance. However, that is not always your best option. While they may offer you a discount because you're bundling your home and auto, they may not offer you the best rate nor offer you the best service if you ever need to make a home claim. The truth is just about every company offers you a discount for bundling your home and auto, so you will likely benefit from getting another quote. Another tip is that after you own your home, you will receive an annual renewal to your homeowner's insurance policy. You should always review this to see what changes they have made to your policy and if those changes are warranted. If you have done some upgrades to your home, maybe your home has increased in value, which would warrant an increase in premium. However, some companies are known to increase premiums for no reason at all. It does not hurt to call and ask why your premium had been increased. That was amazing, Katie. Thank you. You're if welcome. you're interested in saving money on your mortgage or getting pre-qualified for a mortgage, contact Katie Shires. She's the best. She's one of my preferred lenders. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask us in the comments and give us a like if you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching. See you guys next week.